Lauren, just how frustrating of a loss for this team? How frustrating is it? Okay. Um, yeah, it's definitely frustrating, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, a loss, a loss is a loss. And all losses are frustrating, I think. That we just have to bounce back from this game. You know, the focus is on the next game. In that second quarter, did you feel that the game got away from you guys in that second quarter? Um, you know, went on their run. You all were struggling offensively. Is that kind of where this game got out of hand? I don't, I don't think so. I think our team did a good job of keeping our heads in it and staying focused. Um, shots weren't going in for us. I think we had a good defensive effort, though. Um, I just think that we had to make shots. I don't think that um, that little run that they went on really stopped us. Honestly, I think we did a good job as a team to stay in it and stay focused. Uh, go ahead, Kirk. Yeah, Lauren, why wasn't Charlie able to get more involved in the offense today? Certain times, I mean, certain certain defenses play certain ways. Today, they were sacking in a lot on Charlie, and that's when other people have to step up. So I can't give you a definite answer on that, but – that's that's the best answer I have for you. Yeah, and is is the gap this big between these two teams right now? No, I don't think so. I think we just have to make shots. I think it's too so be a different result. Uh, go ahead, John. Hi. I know you can't speak for, for Charlie, but does she have to be selfish at times? I mean, she only took, I think, three shots the entire game. Yeah, I think definitely like always searching for your shot, especially Charlie, the way she's finishing. Uh, but as I said, defenses play different ways, so that when that happens, other other people on the team have to step up and make shots. Danny, go ahead. Laura, I don't know. I don't know if you've gotten a chance to look at the stats, or you're just kind of going off muscle memory right now, but. Is, were you surprised by the team's offensive performance? Um, was that surprising by you all played or was Baylor just that good defensively? No, no, I don't, I don't think so. I, I mean, I didn't get a chance to look at the sets. Are you talking about our offense or their offense? Your, your offense. Okay, no, no, I don't. Um, I mean, it, it really just comes down to focus, putting the ball in the basket. Um, so I wasn't really worried about us missing shots. I mean, break down you lose it mentally so you just got to keep pushing keep shooting you'll see the ball go through the basket eventually yeah. uh back to you john hi i know we'll talk to, to coach schaefer in a second but what did what did he tell you guys after this because i know he usually tells it like it is yeah um basically we same thing i'm saying i mean i'm just repeating him just we got it he had plenty of looks plenty of open opportunities we just got to see the ball through the basket. Um, our defensive effort was there. Obviously, our rebounding could have been better. Um, you know, missed free throws could have been better. All those things. But I'm literally repeating what he said. Just, just put in the ball in the basket. Because we had looks. We had, we had great open looks. We just have to finish. We have to have the focus to finish. All right. Last one for Lauren. Go ahead, Kurt. Yeah. Did uh, Coach Afer mention any bright spots that – you feel like the team can take from this game at all, Lauren? Yeah, our, our defense. Um, our goal is always to keep teams under a certain number, and, and we did that today. Um, but after a loss, I mean, you always look on what you can do better. And that's, that's what our focus is on, going into an away game versus TCU. And lastly, uh, does this leave any type of, you know, kind of emotional scars because, you know, they're kind of sitting on the throne you know, I've won the Big 12 10 years in a row. No, I mean, we can't focus on what they're doing and what they got going on. The focus is on us and what we can do to be better um, moving forward. So, no, we're not focused on emotional scars. We're focused on the next game and attacking and practice getting better. Thank, Thank you, Lauren. Thank you.